the biggest moment that I had with that was playing Whitney Houston yeah. in the Bobby Christina biopic. Um, she saved my life. She never met me. Wow. Everything she said. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk Franklin's A Gospel Christmas starring Demetria McKinney airs December 4th at 8 p.m. 7 p.m. Central. Demetria McKinney's character, Olivia, is a young assistant pastor who gets assigned to be a lead pastor at a new church just a month before Christmas. Even though she's quite fearless, she's having trouble managing the transition. See, she has to get the choir ready to open the town's annual winter jamboree. With the help of her new congregation, Olivia discovers a new home for herself and even finds a little romance. The movie also features a special appearance and songs written and arranged by Kirk Franklin. Last week, I had the opportunity to interview the cast and director. Here's what they had to say. Hi, everyone. Hi. Congratulations. Hello. Congratulations on such a beautiful, touching story. It's just what we need after the year we had last year. Yes. And nothing like going back to our roots and thanking Jesus for the season, okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> My question to you ladies in any particular order Please tell me a time that you experienced imposter syndrome. You were a bit intimidated about a new role. Mm. How did you overcome? Oh, you guys go first. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. As an actor and a performer, I think we run into it a lot more than we admit. Um, gosh, I, I guess to keep in, keep in the flow of Lifetime, probably moments of my first time with Lifetime this is my second Lifetime movie, but my first time with Lifetime um, in the amazing biopic about the Clark sisters. Um, yeah, which Miss Twinkie cast as well. Uh, and just so happy to, you know, work again with her on this project. Uh, but it was my, it wasn't my first time working on television, but it was definitely my first time on a film, particularly, you know, playing a person from beginning to end. And I definitely would say those first couple of days, I was kind of questioning like, Ooh, what's happening? You know, but I, I, I think the way you overcome it is you just trust that, like Ms. Regina said before, you trust that you have everything you need um, and that God gives you with these things. And if the opportunity presents itself, if God presents you an opportunity, it's there for you to walk through it. So, you know, uh, I was able to overcome it because I knew ultimately, I knew the story I was telling. I love those women. Uh, so yeah, that was probably a moment. And then after that, I didn't really have it anymore. I kind of knew what was going on, but it happens a lot. And I think being open about it helps other people overcome that a little quicker. You Absolutely. Know? Yes. Wow. Everything she said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, um, even coming into this part, I think it was, I think it was easier settling in, as I said before, um, being Olivia's mom and being wife um, uh, um, to Dr. Richard, it was easy doing that because that's who I am, but not so much in on film because you know it, you just can't do it any kind of way. I can't be Regina any kind of way. You know, I have to be Regina in the in the mindset of Pastor Etta Richard mm -hmm. and. Um, and so I think that was the place where I had to um, woman up <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, put the big girl panties on and say, okay, um, what, what do I want the audience to get from um, this role, this particular role? So I had to you know, really kind of dig a little bit deeper as to being a parent, as to being a mother, as to being a pastor um, uh, and just being a person you know, what, what, what do I want to exude? What, what, what do I want to elucidate? What, what am I portraying? Yeah. And so I think um, that was a little bit intimidating, but, you know, again, when that opportunity is there, when that light turns on, you know, um, you come into your own. So I'm, I'm thankful that um, both Twinkie and Erica believed in me and gave me the opportunity. Absolutely. I love that. So you made it bigger than you. Absolutely. <laughs> Had to be bigger than me. So, you know, because film is different. You know, it's not, it's not just um it's it's not just it's it's the it's the it's the life, but it's exaggerated, it's it's blown up, it's um it, it's all these things, it's the colorfulness of it that we sometimes pass by as we live life. 
but it, it you know like Twinkie talked about all the all the Easter egg moments the the pieces in the background you know it's important when you're doing film that you catch all of that so you know that's what I wanted to exude you did she exuded it mm -hmm. <laughs> she did oh is it my turn yes please I was like you want for you for sure <laughs> oh you know I'm still over here executive producing I know that's right. <laughs> Yes, I'm still doing that right now. Um, let's see, imposter syndrome. I can say that having been in this business 34 years now, 30, yeah, yep, 30, 34 years, that stepping into each different area is and can be intimidating. However, I have pushed through fear so many times that now, pushing through that fear and doing it scared is just literally a part of doing it for me. So, mm -hmm. and watching other people do it and learning from all of those who have come before me or that are doing it currently, I look at them as teachers and mentors. So I don't necessarily, when, when you look at it from that angle, I feel then it helps, it helps when you look at it from that lens. And that's the way I look at it. It's like, um, I understand that each person is their own person and I learn from them. So my focus is what I can learn from them. Oh, Demetri is here. <laughs> Hi, honey. Can you hear Demetri, us? Can you hear us? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, daughter. I'm a mama. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm coming straight out of training, straight out of sweat into the rain. And I am sorry I missed even a bit of this. How are you all doing? Great. Now that Good. you're here. Yes. yes. Oh, bless y'all's heart. Mama, you looking fabulous. You're re you representing for us because all they get in his eyes today. Hey. That <laughs> <laughs> baby is beautiful. <laughs> Well, Demetria, you actually got here just in time, maybe to answer my question, if you don't mind. <laughs> I, would, I would love to. I am so sorry again. Please, that's the way. No worries. My question was, can you think of a time where you experienced imposter syndrome and was a bit intimidated to step into a role or an opportunity that was presented to you? Oh, man, pick one. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think the biggest moment that I had with that was playing Whitney Houston yeah. in the Bobby Christina biopic. Um, she saved my life. She never met me. She probably never knew my name, but her music was a soundtrack for whatever I was feeling. There was always something there for me. Um, and when I got into the role and it really started to hit me who I was watching her, I could be interpreted as an imposter by a, numer a number of people. Some of them knew Whitney as Whitney. Some of them knew her as Twinkie, as, uh, as um, Nippy. Nippy, you know, M Nippy. I'm sitting here, Twinkie Bird. Some of them knew her as Nippy. Some of them knew her as an aunt. Some of them knew her as a sister. There were just so many different aspects to her that if I didn't give her the justice she was due, imposter was going to be exposed like a mug. So it just really made me have to dive in further and really kind of, I had to push it back and trust that she was going to help me because she knew my intention. Mm. You, and you know that role and you're doing amazing in this role. I can't wait for the world to see a gospel Christmas on Lifetime. Thank you. So congratulations again to all of you ladies and thank you very much for spending. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much.